everyone, this is Christina coming to you again to talk about a new topic. But um, first, for those that don't know me, my name is Christina Yuri of Selena Harmonizing Body Work. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today, explain a little bit more about what I do. I serve moms whose lives are just so chaotic um, that they have no time to take care of their body and they are coming up with band-aid solutions to sort of get their their bodies a bit more out of balance because they are in bed hurting, their backs hurting, they're depressed, they have no energy, just dragging themselves through their lives. And so I help people, help moms release that tension from their body, regain their energy, and reduce their pain. So that way they can get back to their very busy mom lives, taking care of their kids and helping their kids get off to school and doing all of those things and get back to their own lives and feeling more resourced and ready for all that comes at us. So um, along those lines of moms who are just out of solutions, just feeling like they're just trying to get through the day, one of those emotions, those negative emotions that comes up frequently for moms is fear. Fear is a huge, um, definitely big, huge negative emotion. And the quickie uh, that I love to tell my clients about for fear is the index finger. The index finger, and it's simply, again, just like yesterday when I was talking about worry, worry being the thumb, fear, fear for the index finger, you just simply hold it. You can just hold it in your lap um, and just, you don't even have to massage it. You don't have to do anything specific. Just hold that index finger, that pointer finger. Um, it is amazing at helping when we are in a fearful place. So along those lines, one of the reasons that I have found it to be really fascinating as I've been studying and practicing and um, helping others with this beautiful art that I've been studying for 10 years, I, um, as I was first beginning to study Jinshin Jitsu, the art that this comes from, I was a preschool teacher at a Waldorf school, preschool assistant, kindergarten assistant, as they call them in, in, kinder, in Waldorf schools. And it was always interesting to me to notice those three, four-year-olds on those first few days, um, whether it was the first day of class or um, something had shifted in their lives, I would always watch what fingers that they put in their mouth. And generally speaking, it was their thumb or their index finger. And um, sometimes it was others, but it definitely gave me a clue as to what was going on for them. And, um, and a lot of times there was a lot of fear and a lot about worry about the new situation, being in a new school, new friends, new experiences. If something was different, one of those fingers usually came up. So definitely an interesting thing to notice when you're around little ones, what fingers do they put in their mouth? Um, but it was a natural response. This healing art has been around for 5,000 years and to see it prove itself in the, in the preschool was really amazing. Along those lines, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit more about why it is that holding this index finger would have any relationship to fear. And, um, and so, a lot, so just to be a little more, uh, to explain that a little bit more, so you know, um, we have, of course, a physical body that's what we're very accustomed to, to being in, being aware of. But we also have a mental body and we have a spiritual body. Some people call it an energetic body. So either name, whichever you prefer. Um, so the energetic body and the spiritual body, they, they're the same thing. But that energetic body, that is what this relationship, the fear thing is working on. And you might say, well, then how does it, what, what does that have to do with how I feel? Well, the energetic body translates easily, works through on it to the mental body and to the physical body. So it's kind of amazing that holding our index finger 
will help us feel more balanced. Um, it can also, that index finger, help with back pain. It can also help with perfectionism, um, a lot of that, mm, a lot of insecurity. Whole, if you're experiencing any of those negative emotions, then holding that index finger will be um, really helpful in harmonizing that fear and feeling less back pain, less perfectionism, less insecurity. And for those that are interested in the elemental side of it, it the fear has a lot of, it's the water element. So anyways, those are the quick tips and ideas around fear and the index finger. I would love it if you shared this video with others. Like, comment, of course. That helps this message share be shared with more people. Um, and so, yeah, along those lines, if you know anybody who's living in a lot of fear and would like some support in living in more pure, alert awareness, more of the positive emotion, then show them this video. Share it with them. Suggest it to them. You know, you always have your fingers. So it's a great little quickie exercise that you can do no matter where you are in the world. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, stay tuned. Next week, I will go on the other five fingers, other three fingers, so we'll get all five fingers covered. Bye, guys.